Welcome back. It's Tuesday, so that only means one thing. Tuesday build. Right, so I've got my normal galaxy right there. Here I've got my uh, QMOX camera. A couple of people uh, were saying that the QMOX, it kind of, there's, there's like a wobble in the background. Made my, made my wife feel a bit sick actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out static um, with, with nothing moving in the background hopefully. So behave yourself and we'll use you in the future. Right, today's build is actually right forget that I was going to show you my old mallet that I've had for years it's it's time to retire it so today we're going to make a new mallet wooden handle and the top is going to be HDPE so we're going to be using the oven yeah <laughs> since I cleaned the workshop up I've forgotten where I put stuff so yeah, we're gonna use the oven, we're gonna melt some plastic down, and then we're gonna turn the handle, and hopefully it turns out nice. I'm still looking at you. Right, so here's the toaster oven. Um, pretty inexpensive, really. I think it was 40 quid, I don't know. The thing with HDPE, it looks a lot, but it's not. Once you've melted this down, I mean, it, 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 it doesn't produce a great deal. So you need quite a lot of this stuff to, to make to, to make some. Uh, and if you remember in my HDPE video that I did, most HDPE, it says what it is on there. If it hasn't got it actually molded into it that it's HDPE, then there's usually a little triangle of three arrows going around. Uh, and in the middle of there, it will tell you a number. HDP is number two. So I know this is safe to melt down. Yeah. See number two. I know I know this is safe to melt down. If you find some that maybe say a number five or or whatever number I'm not sure about that so I wouldn't recommend you melt it down unless you know what you're doing but this as long as you don't burn it it's fine usually you can kind of tell if it's HDPE If you look at the, it, it's kind of a, a dull, kind of whitish plastic. It's not shiny really at all. But if you look at other plastics, it's, it's shiny and it's not dull. And it, if you try and bend it, it won't crease, it'll just break. If you look at this, it'll crease. So uh, that's another thing to look out for. And also in certain well-known um, fizzy pop brands, there's a rubber on the inside of the lid. You don't want to burn that. You don't want to melt that. My eyes are failing me. I should really go and get my glasses on, shouldn't I?
So while I'm waiting for the HDPE to cook and melt down, um, I can't really do anything to the tenant now on this side. What I might do is if the HTP doesn't work out for some reason, I'm going to leave this because uh, at least I've, I can still make a little mallet out of it. All I have to do is sand it. I might put a a ring around it or something. I don't know what it'll do. I'm going to show you any other YouTubers out <coughs> out there with bad light. These are little um, white light LED outdoor lamps. They're like five pounds from um, home base, I think. What I've done is my camera, my phone sits in that little bracket there. These you can move about. You just wire them in like that, the plate. Drill a hole for your camera uh, mount to fit onto. Yeah, and I've just stuck it on a stand. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, it lights up the lights up my work lovely. Put it on the stand a minute. So that's with the lights on. And that's with the lights off. There's a bit of a difference in there. Lights on, lights off. Right. Little camera still working. Just stay to my workshop. I'm gonna have to clean this up again. So that's been recorded <laughs> the oven for uh, eight minutes. See how it turns out. I just loaded the HDB up again. Turn it up a little bit. Right, I'm going to leave that to cook and I'm going to go and have a coffee. See you in a bit. Right then, so the HDB has come out random. But I like it. Next step, flatten this off. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like the HDP in the middle, but I wouldn't mind leaving the, a cap on top of wood. So you'll have the handle, uh, HDP in the middle, and then a round over cap of wood for the top. Um, so what I've got to do is take this down now to, what is this, 35mm um, and then round the top over, glue that in, put the top back on and then I think we'll be done. Right, so I just had a little bit of tear out. Uh, I can save it. All I've got to do really is, yeah, take it all down, make a tenon. I wanted that little bit of wood on the bottom, but I'm not going to get away with it now. So I'm just going to take it all down to 30, 35 mil. And then, yeah, do my best. Should turn out alright. With a bit of luck. Good colours in there. It's lovely. Okay.
right, there we have it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, my head's not really been in this today, to be honest. There are a few imperfections that I'm not happy with, but at the end of the day, a bit off off center and the handles a little bit off center but like I say it works look at the colors in that I'll use it um, or I might give it away I don't know we'll see what happens thanks for watching uh, I'm going to go and edit this now. I apologise, I usually try and get a build done on the Tuesday, um, though this will probably go out tomorrow morning, Wednesday. Um, yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That's not, order, not an order. 